Welcome back to Closet Coaching. I am home from vacation, and of course, I'm going to tell you a beach story today because it's fresh on my mind. Um, so there was this day that pre-getting a stomach bug that I was on the beach <clears throat> in my bathing suit with no cover-up, like building sand. Actually, I wasn't building sand castles. My kids were. and But I was just sitting there. And I like said something to my husband like, isn't it like crazy how like different like it is on the beach now from like five years ago or even less than that. And, um, he was like, yeah. Um, cause I like say stuff like that to my husband all the time. I was like, isn't it amazing? And he's like, yeah. He was like, you're focused on other things now. And I was like, that is so true. Like I, it made me think about the fact that before I think when you're in the throes of like hating your body, you don't allow yourself to focus on anything else. You like can't focus on anything else, but you also don't allow yourself to. Um, you just simply, you feel like you have to perseverate on staying in body loathing because you feel like you deserve that or like it's somehow going to shame you enough into changing or <clears throat> at least if you hate yourself, you're like apologizing for being what you are or something. Um, and I was thinking about how like there is such a difference of focus now where I do not engage in that. I don't stay focused on something that I don't like or that I like that, you know, if, if there's something I feel uncomfortable about my body, I won't stay focused on it because it's, that's like saying that that's important and meaningful and it isn't. And like my brain fully knows that now and is like, yeah, so I'm not going to stay here. I'm just going to move along and I'm going to do these things like at the beach because that's what I'd rather be doing. Um, of course, that doesn't happen overnight, but it it is like there is something about your focus and about allowing yourself to keep your focus moving. That is very, very helpful, whether it's in front of a mirror or a photograph or <clears throat> on a beach. Um, so that was my lesson of the week.